we're going to talk about animal forms today. I'm going to demonstrate how animal forms can help you with tracking. Like these squirrel tracks. These squirrel tracks are bounding towards the water. I know this because when I bound, I have to do a body scissor, which means my spine is flexing. Let me demonstrate. At our school, <laughs> we use animal forms or shape shifting to teach about animal behavior tracking and even to improve our fighting skills. The first form I want to show you is raccoon form. Now compare that to a bear, which has its weight more forward. Some people call shape-shifting animal forms, but it goes way beyond animals. When I get into a when I get into a predator mindset, I shape sh shape shift into a velociraptor. <whistles> Compare that to T-Rex, which is more heavy body and straight line. I use Velociraptor and T-Rex to set off bird alarms in our awareness classes. For tracking purposes, I'm going to show you the difference between a lope, bound, and a gallop. The lope is the slowest of the three tracking patterns. Now we're going to do a bound. The lope the bound and the gallop are always make a body scissor, which means the spine is going up and down. There are other animal gates, but I want to show you human shape shifting. All right, one of these is air. Air is all about circle formations and moving around your opponent. All right. Water is more of a fluid, striking, fast movement. Right. Fire. Fire is all about power, accuracy, and speed. Earth is all about being grounded and moving into your opponent. You can use shape shifting when you're watching wildlife, but you can also watch, use shape shifting when you're watching movies. <laughs> Oh,
That was for me watching The Forbidden Kingdom, which is an awesome movie. <laughs>